The Sweden national football team Swedish, Svenska represents Sweden in association football and is controlled by the Swedish Football Association, the governing body for football in Sweden. Sweden's home ground is Friends Arena in Stockholm and the team is coached by Jana Andersson. From 1945 to late 1950s, they were considered one of the greatest teams in Europe. Sweden made their first World Cup appearance in 1934. Sweden has made 12 World Cup appearances and 6 appearances in the European Championships. They finished second in the 1958 FIFA World Cup, and third in both 1950 and 1994. Sweden's accomplishments also include a gold medal in the 1948 Summer Olympics, and bronze medals in 1924 and 1952. They also reached the semi-finals in UEFA Euro 1992. History Sweden has traditionally been a strong team in international football, with 11 World Cup appearances and three medals in the Olympics. The Swedish team finished second in the 1958 World Cup, when it was the host team, being beaten by Brazil 5–2 in the final. Sweden has also finished third twice, in 1950 and 1994. In 1938, they finished fourth. Early history. Sweden played its first international game against Norway on 12 July 1908, an 11–3 victory. Other matches in 1908 were played against England, Great Britain, the Netherlands twice, and Belgium. Sweden lost all five matches. In the same year, Sweden competed in the 1908 Summer Olympics for the first time. Sweden, however, lost a game in the Olympics against the Great Britain 1–12, the biggest loss in the Swedish national team's history. In 1916, Sweden defeated Denmark for the first time. Sweden played in the 1912 Olympics as hosts, the 1920 Olympics, and in the 1924 Olympics, where Sweden took the bronze and their first medal ever. Topic: 1938 World Cup. The 1938 World Cup was Sweden's second qualification for the World Cup. In the first round, they were scheduled to play against Austria, but after Germany's occupation of Austria, the Austrian team could not continue playing in the tournament. Instead, Sweden went straight to the quarter-finals match against Cuba. They beat Cuba 8–0 with both Harry Anderson on his debut and Gustav Wetterström scoring hat-tricks. In the semi-final match against Hungary, Sweden lost 1–5. Sweden's next match was the third-place match against Brazil. In that game the Swedes lost 2–4, and ended in fourth place for the first and only time in Swedish football history. 1948 Summer Olympics In the first round, Sweden played against Austria. The Austrian team had qualified without their professional players, which was a surprise since the Austrian league had many professional players who were allowed to play in the tournament. The match was played at White Hart Lane in London and Sweden won 3–0. In the second game, Sweden played against Korea and won 12–0, one of the two largest margin wins Sweden has ever had. In the semi-final Sweden met their archrivals from Denmark beating them 4–2. The final was played at legendary Wembley Stadium in London. The attendance was around 40,000 people which was high for a football game in those days. Sweden took on Yugoslavia in the final and won 3–1, with goals by Gunnar Gren 24 feet, 67 feet, Stjepan Bobic 42 feet and Gunnar Nordahl 48 feet. This was Sweden's first championship win in any international football tournament. 1950 World Cup In the 1950 World Cup, the Swedish Football Association did not allow any professional Swedish football players to take part. Consequently, Sweden only fielded amateur players during the tournament. Qualifying for the tournament as one of six European national teams, Sweden played in the same group as Italy and Paraguay, India withdrew from the group. In the first match, Sweden beat Italy 3–2 in São Paulo. The second match was a 2–2 draw against Paraguay. 
With the most points in the group, Sweden advanced to the next round. Their first game in the second stage, also a group format, was against the hosts Brazil. It was played at the Maracana Stadium with a total attendance of more than 138,000, to this day the record attendance for the Swedish national team. The game ended 7–1 to Brazil and it is rumoured that almost everyone in the Brazilian audience waved the Swedes goodbye with their scarves. The next game was against Uruguay, who Sweden played against for the first time in World Cup history. Played in São Paulo, Uruguay won the game 3–2, which meant Sweden were unable to play for the gold. The final game for Sweden in the tournament was played in São Paulo, against Spain. Sweden won 3–1 with goals by Stig Sundqvist 15 feet, Burr Melberg 34 feet, and Carl Erik Palmer 79 feet. Sweden finished third in the group and took their first World Cup medal. As Sweden was the best-placed European team, Sweden was, as the time, regarded unofficial European champions. At the Summer Olympics in 1952 in Helsinki, Sweden continued to achieve success and won an Olympic bronze. The following year, the Football Association decided not to allow foreign professionals to play in the national team and the team failed to qualify for the World Championships in Switzerland in 1954 when Sweden only came second in their qualifying group behind Belgium. Topic: 1958 World Cup. In 1956, the Swedish Football Federation allowed the professional footballers to play for the national team again, giving Swedish football fans hope for the 1958 FIFA World Cup. Sweden, the host nation, were in the same group as Mexico, Hungary, and Wales. The first game, Sweden vs Mexico, was played at Sweden's national stadium, Resunda Stadium, Solna, and was attended by around 32,000 people. Sweden won the game 3–0, taking the lead in Group 3. The next match was against Hungary, who had finished second in the 1954 World Cup in Switzerland and were also the 1952 Olympic champions. Also played at Resunda, this game ended 2–1 to Sweden, with both goals scored by Kurt Hamrin. In the next match, against Wales, Sweden drew 0–0. Making it through to the quarter-finals, playing at Resunda for the fourth time in this tournament, Sweden were up against the USSR and won 2–0. The semi-final at Ulevi, Gothenburg, was the only game in the tournament which Sweden did not play at Resunda. The crowd of around 50,000 people attended one of the best games Sweden played in the tournament. West Germany led by 1–0 when Erik Juskowiak was sent off in the 59th minute. Sweden won 3–1. The final was played at Resunda between host nation Sweden and the 1950 FIFA World Cup runners-up, Brazil. The total attendance was approximately 52,000 people. Brazil ended up winning the World Cup for the first time ever after beating Sweden by 5–2. Sweden consequently became runners-up, the best result for Sweden in any World Cup. After the final match the Brazilian players honoured the host nation by sprinting around the pitch holding a Swedish flag. 1960s After the successful 1958 World Cup, Sweden's fortunes diminished. In the qualification round of the 1962 World Cup, Sweden won its group in impressive fashion scoring ten goals and only having three goals scored against it, but it still had to win a playoff game against Switzerland to qualify. The game was played in West Berlin, and the Swiss won, 2–1. Sweden almost got to the UEFA European Championship 1964. They started their playoff against Norway and won the first game and drew in the last game. In the second round, Sweden beat Yugoslavia, 3–2, but they lost the first game. In the quarter-finals, Sweden played against the defending champions, the Soviet Union. Sweden tied the first game but lost the second. During the 1966 World Cup qualification, Sweden was in the UEFA qualification group 2. Sweden started the qualification with a draw against West Germany and then a 3–0 victory over Cyprus. But only the winner of the group advanced and Sweden was eliminated with a loss in its next game against West Germany. Sweden successfully entered the UEFA European Championship in 1968, but they finished in the qualification group too. 
Sweden's only major success in the 60s was to qualify for the 1970 World Cup, after winning UEFA Group 5 ahead of Norway and France. Sweden finished third in its group, losing a tie-breaker with eventual number 4 Uruguay, and did not advance to the elimination round, however. The winner of Sweden's group was eventual world runner-up Italy. Topic: 1974 World Cup. In the qualification of the 1974 FIFA World Cup, Sweden was in the same group as Austria, Hungary, and Malta. Sweden clinched a narrow win via a classic playoff match against Austria in a snowy Gelsenkirchen and advanced to the World Cup finals in Germany. The group Sweden drew into included Uruguay, Netherlands, and Bulgaria. The first game against Bulgaria ended in a draw. In the second game against the Netherlands, Sweden drew another tie. The last game of the round was played against Uruguay. That game was the first victory Sweden had in the tournament, when they beat Uruguay 3–0 with goals by Roland Sandberg 74 feet and Ralf Edström 46 feet, 77 feet. Sweden finished second in the group and advanced to the second group stage. In the second group stage, Sweden was defeated in the first game against Poland 0–1. The situation after the defeat against Poland was that if Sweden lost against West Germany with a single goal difference and Yugoslavia defeated Poland, Sweden would be second in the group and play for the bronze medal. But since Poland beat Yugoslavia 2–1, Sweden had to win the game against the host nation, West Germany, in order to finish second in the group. The game against West Germany was played in Dusseldorf with an attendance of 66,500 people. The Swedish striker Ralf Edström gave the Scandinavian the lead with 1–0 after 29 minutes. But in the second half West Germany took control of the game, even after Roland Sandberg's equaliser after 52 minutes. Germany won 4–2. After the tournament, the German players commented that the game against Sweden was their best game in that tournament. The last game for Sweden was played in Dusseldorf against Yugoslavia. Sweden won that game 2–1. They finished the tournament as the fifth-place team. The Swedish team had profiles that Ronnie Hellström, Bo Larsson and Björn Nordqvist. Sweden did not qualify for the European Championship quarter-finals game in 1976. On the 11th of May 1976, Sweden lost for the first time since 1937 at home to Denmark. 1978 World Cup 1978 took Sweden for the third consecutive World Cup. Sweden made it from the qualifiers in a three-team group with Switzerland and Norway as opponents. The qualifying session was played in 1976 and 1977 in the World Cup 1978 in Argentina. Sweden played the first match with a draw against Brazil. Swedish scorer was Thomas Schuberg. 1–1 was Sweden's best result so far in the World Cup against Brazil context the result was repeated between the two countries at the World Cup finals in 1994. The team then lost against Austria and Spain The Swedish team finished last in the group with one point and goal difference 1–3. Several of the profiles from 1974, still with Larsson, Edström, Nordquist but also new players such as Anders Lindereth, Haas Borg and Torbjörn Nielsen. 1979–1990 After the successful 1970s, reaching all three World Cups, Sweden changed their coach from Georg Abai. Eriksson to Lars Laban Arnesen. Arnesen had been a successful coach for Oster's IF before becoming national team coach. They failed to qualify to the 1982 FIFA World Cup, ending third to Scotland and Northern Ireland. In 1983, Sweden met Brazil in Gothenburg to play a friendly, the match ended 3 3. They failed to qualify for the UEFA Euro 1984, despite defeating the then reigning world champions Italy 3 0 in Naples, including two goals by Glenn Stromberg, due to losing against Romania both away and at home. The Swedish setbacks continued. After the failed qualification for the 1986 World Cup, Al Nordin took over the team. 
Sweden lost their match against Czechoslovakia with 1–2 in the final qualifying round, while Portugal unexpectedly won 1–0 away against West Germany and took second place in the group. It was West Germany's first ever loss in a World Cup qualifier. Sweden also failed to qualify to the UEFA Euro 1988 in West Germany. They won their qualification group for the 1990 World Cup ahead of England and went on to their first World Cup in 12 years. However, the World Cup campaign ended quickly after three 1–2 defeats in the group stage matches, against Brazil, Scotland and Costa Rica. As of May 2018, it is the only time that Sweden has failed to score points in a World Cup tournament. After the World Cup, Al Nordin resigned and Nissi Andersson became a temporary coach until Tommy Svensson took over in 1991. 1992 European Championship As the host of the UEFA Euro 1992, Sweden played in their first ever European Championship tournament. They were drawn in Group A with Denmark, France and England. Sweden managed to advance as group winners ahead of the eventual champions Denmark. In the semi-finals following the group stage, Sweden were eliminated by Germany with 2–3. As of July 2016, the semi-final place remains Sweden's best result ever in a European Championship. 1994 World Cup Sweden qualified for the 1994 World Cup in the United States at the top of their qualifying group ahead of Bulgaria and France. Sweden was placed in Group B with Brazil, Cameroon and Russia. The first game against Cameroon in Los Angeles looked to be yet another 1–2 loss, after the 1990 World Cup fiasco with losses of 1–2 in all three games but in the 75th minute, Martin Dahlin scored the equaliser from a rebound shot off of Henrik Larsson and the match finished 2–2. In the next game against Russia in Detroit, Russia was handed an early penalty and made it 1–0. Sweden managed to come back, with a penalty goal from Tomas Brolin and two goals from Martin Dahlin, with the final result being 3–1. In the last group stage match, against Brazil also in Detroit, they tied 1–1 after goals by Kenneth Anderson and Romario 47. In the first knockout stage match, Sweden faced Saudi Arabia in the extreme heat and humidity of Dallas, where the game started at the hottest time of day 4.30 p.m. where temperatures went past 40 C in an outdoor stadium. Sweden won 3–1 after two goals from Kenneth Anderson and one from Martin Dahlin. Sweden's quarterfinal match in San Francisco against Romania has become a memorable match for Swedish football fans. After Sweden had scored late in the second half, Romania managed to equalise in the dying minutes of the match, sending it into extra time. Romania's Florin Reducioiu, who scored the first goal for Romania, scored his second of the day to take Romania ahead at the 101st minute. But with five minutes left, Kenneth Anderson scored with a header to make it level at 2–2. The penalty shootout began with a miss from Håkan Mild of Sweden, but Thomas Ravelli managed to save two penalties from Daniel Proden and Miodrag Beledadici, giving Sweden the win and making himself a hero. Sweden advanced to the semi-finals, where they were to face Brazil in Los Angeles. They had managed to score in the group stage against Brazil but couldn't do it a second time. After Jonas Thurn had been sent off with a red card, Romario scored the only goal of the game in the 80th minute. In the third place match, Sweden played against a Bulgaria side that had lost to Italy in their semi final match in New York City. Sweden scored four goals in the first half, but the second half went goal less. Sweden finished third and won the bronze medal, the best placing for the national team in a World Cup since the 1958 silver medal. This led Sweden to a second place in the FIFA World Rankings for one month, in November 1994. They finished as the top scorers of the tournament, with 15 goals scored in total. 1995–1997 After the World Cup in 1994, Sweden had difficulty reaching up to the same level. The national team was knocked out in qualifying for the 1996 European Championships in England and the World Cup in France in 1998. 
The qualification for the Euro 96 had started with a win for Sweden 1–0 away against Iceland in September 1994, but then lost against Switzerland away from home. In November 1994, Tomás Brolin broke his foot in a win against Hungary. In the spring of 1995 continued failure in the European Championship qualifiers. Sweden lost the away games against Turkey and played 1–1 draw at home to Iceland. When Sweden drew 0–0 against Switzerland in Gothenburg in September 1995, it was clear that the team would miss the European Championship finals. The qualifying game for the France 98 was not better. In October 1996, Austria won 1–0 in Stockholm in the month after the Swedes lost against Scotland on away ground. Admittedly, Sweden won against Scotland in the return match in Gothenburg on Walpurgis night in 1997, but in September 1997 won Austria 1–0 in Vienna. In October 1997, Tommy Svensson quit as head coach and Tommy Soderberg took over. Topic: 2000 European Championship. Sweden qualified impressively for this tournament, winning all games except the away game against England 0–0 and conceding only one goal. The finals, however, were a great disappointment. Sweden lost their opening game against the host Belgium 1–2. Johan Mjallby scored the goal for Sweden in the 53rd minute after an error by Belgian goalkeeper Philippe de Wilde, while Belgium won via goals from Bart Gore in the 43rd minute and Emil M. Penza in the 46th. Then Sweden played 0–0 against Turkey and lost 2–1 to Italy. The goal was scored by Henrik Larsson while Italy won via goals from Luigi Di Biagio and Alessandro Del Piero. Sweden finished the group last behind Belgium with only one point. Italy finished first and Turkey second. <laughs> 2002 World Cup In the 2002 FIFA World Cup, Sweden was drawn in the Group of Death, Group F, which also featured big favourites Argentina, England and Nigeria. The first match was against England. Saul Campbell gave England the lead in the first half by heading in a left side corner from David Beckham. The equalising goal was scored by midfielder Niklas Alexanderson, a powerful left foot shot from outside the box past David Seaman. The match ended 1–1. In the next game, Sweden played Nigeria. Julius Agahaua gave Nigeria the lead by heading in a cross from the right. Sweden managed to equalise with a fine goal by Henrik Larsson. Later in the game, Larsson was fouled in the penalty area and Sweden were awarded with a penalty which Larsson himself put in the goal. Sweden won 2–1. In the final group match, Sweden played Argentina, who needed to win after losing 0–1 to England in the previous game. Sweden midfielder Anders Svensson scored a free-kick goal from 30 metres. Andreas Andersson had a shot off the crossbar and out in an attempt to extend the lead. Matthias Johnson committed a foul in the penalty area and Argentina was awarded a penalty. Ariel Ortega shot straight on Magnus Hedman, the Swedish keeper, but Hernán Crespo rushed into the box and shot the rebound from Hedman between the keeper's legs. The goal was controversial because Crespo began running into the box at the same time as Ortega stepped up to shoot. However, the match ended 1 1 and Sweden won the group, England on second place, Argentina third, and Nigeria last. In the round of 16, Sweden played Senegal. Henrik Larsson gave Sweden an early lead by heading in a corner from Anders Svensson. Senegal equalised through Henri Camara. They also had a goal disallowed for offside. The game came to sudden death golden goal. Rising star Zlatan Ibrahimović came on and nearly won Sweden the game. He made a terrific run on the right wing past several Senegal players, and shot with his weaker left foot from a tight angle straight at Senegal's keeper Tony Silva. Ibrahimović had Larsson and Svensson in excellent positions for a pass, but shot instead. Then Svensson made a great spin past a defender and hit the post with a powerful shot, which Silva would have had no chance of saving, had it gone inside the posts. Kamara then took a weak shot which went past Hedman, off the post and into the goal. Consequently, Sweden were eliminated. 2004. <inaudible> 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 Sweden came into the tournament in Portugal with low expectations. 
but after a dazzling 5–0 win against Bulgaria they became one of the favourites. Frederick Lundberg began the goal fest after a well-done pass by Zlatan Ibrahimović. Henrik Larsson scored 2–0 and 3–0 in the second half. His first goal was done by a nice header after that he received a perfectly taken crossball by Eric Edman. 4–0 was scored by Zlatan Ibrahimović on a penalty and the substitute Marcus Allback scored the last goal of the game. After the 5–0 victory, Sweden became a feared team in the tournament and many were surprised by Sweden's offensive play since they were known to mostly play a defensive form of football. In the next game they were set up against Italy, who would prove themselves as a very hard opponent. After 36 minutes Antonio Cassano scored the first goal of the game for Italy after a cross by Christian Panucci. A great game by Swedish goalkeeper Andreas Isaacson made Sweden survive the rest of the game and after 84 minutes Sweden finally managed to score a goal. Ibrahimović made a backheel shot which found the back of the net. Sweden's last game of the group was held against Denmark. It was said before the game that if Sweden and Denmark played 2–2, Italy would be eliminated from the tournament. This is exactly what happened. Denmark led the game by 2–1 for a long time. But at the end of the game, Matthias Johnson scored the equaliser after numerous rebounds. Italy was eliminated and both Denmark and Sweden was qualified for the quarter-finals. In the quarter-finals, Sweden had to face Holland. The game became goalless after full-time, but not without a lot of chances. The closest Sweden came to scoring was through Frederick Lundberg but he hit the post with a well-taken shot. But the game ended goalless in normal time and went to a penalty shootout. After a long run of penalties were taken, it was Olaf Melberg's turn to take a shot. The Dutch goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar saved Melberg's shot and Holland won the game. Sweden was eliminated and Holland was through to the next round. Topic. 2006 World Cup Sweden competed in Group B at the 2006 World Cup. Their squad for the tournament featured players who played club football in 11 different nations. Sweden started the World Cup slowly, recording a goal-less draw against unheralded Trinidad and Tobago, despite playing with a one-man advantage for most of the game. The second game, against Paraguay, looked to be another goal-less draw until Frederick Lundberg scored in the 89th minute to give Sweden a 1–0 victory. Sweden then rallied to tie England, 2–2, to finish group play with five points, enough to finish second in its group and advance to the second round. There, the team's World Cup run came to an end with a 2–0 defeat to the host team, Germany. 2008 European Championship and 2010 FIFA World Cup qualifiers Sweden finished second in Group F behind Spain, thus qualifying for the finals. The campaign included an abandoned match away to Denmark, for which Sweden were awarded a 3–0 win by UEFA. In their first match in Euro 2008, they beat the reigning European champions, Greece, by a score of 2–0 with goals from Zlatan Ibrahimović and Petr Hansen. Their next game was against Spain, who they played in qualifying. The game looked like a draw until a 92nd-minute strike from David Villa, which put the Spaniards ahead. In the final group match, the Swedes went on to lose 2–0 to the Russians, eliminating them from the tournament. The 2010 FIFA World Cup qualification ended disastrously for Sweden. In the first game in Tirana, they were only able to tie 0–0 with an Albanian side that they were expected to defeat easily. Four days later, Sweden beat Hungary, 2–1, with goals from Kim Kallström and Samuel Holman. They would go on to tie with Portugal twice, both in Stockholm and in Porto. Both games ended 0–0. Sweden would lose to Denmark on home ground with an early strike from Thomas Kallenberg after a defensive mistake. Sweden had defeated Denmark, 3–0, two years earlier. Sweden recovered with a 4–0 hammering of Malta. Against Hungary and Malta, both of the winning goals for Sweden were scored late. They would lose to Denmark again at Parken Stadium in Copenhagen after a late goal from Jakob Paulsen. Meanwhile, Portugal defeated Hungary, 3–0, putting the Portuguese team ahead in the standings. Sweden would defeat Albania, 4–1, however, Sweden was eliminated by Portugal's 4–0 defeat of Malta. 
Lars Lagerback resigned and Eric Hamron was appointed the next head coach. Topic: 2012 European Championship and 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Sweden's Euro 2012 campaign with their new coach, Eric Hamrin, started well with two consecutive wins in Group E against Hungary and San Marino. After that Sweden lost to the Netherlands in Amsterdam with 1–4, but then won against Moldova first in Stockholm with 2–1 and later in Chisinau with 4–1. After the battle against Moldova Sweden beat their neighbour Finland with 5–0. The following game was a defeat when Hungary through Rudolf scored 2–1 home at Stadium Puskas Ferenc at the last minute of full time. After that Sweden defeated San Marino with 5–0 away including two goals from Christian Wilhelmsen, who before the two games against San Marino and Hungary hadn't been a regular in the starting eleven during Hamrin's tenure as head coach. The Swedish team then proceeded to beat Finland with 2–1 and in the final game beat the Netherlands with 3–2 to end their streak of 17 consecutive qualification game wins. On 2 December 2011, Sweden were drawn into Group D alongside England, Ukraine and France in the Euro 2012 competition. In their Euro 2012 opening match Sweden lost against host nation Ukraine with 2–1. In their second group match Sweden lost to England with 3–2, thus eliminating them from the tournament. In the third game, a Swedish team with nothing to lose or gain outplayed France in a 2–0 victory. Playing in Group C of the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifiers, Sweden finished second behind Germany, and was one of eight teams to move on to the second round of qualification. A notable result during group play was their match in Germany on 16 October 2012 where they fought back from 4–0 down with 30 minutes remaining to draw the game 4–4 at the Olympiastadion, and was widely regarded as one of the most memorable comebacks in the history. A key win in their group was the home game against Austria on of October 2013, as Martin Olsen and Zlatan Ibrahimović both scored in the second half to secure the win at the Friends Arena, using the October 2013 FIFA World Rankings. Sweden was ranked 25th overall and would face one of the four highest ranked teams in the second round of qualification. They were drawn to face Portugal, the team that beat Sweden for a qualification spot in the 2010 World Cup qualifiers. After a 1–0 loss in Lisbon and a 3–2 loss in Solna, Portugal won 4–2 on aggregate and Sweden once again failed to qualify for the World Cup. UEFA Euro 2016 Competing in Group G of the UEFA Euro 2016 qualifiers, Sweden picked up their first point on the road in Austria with a 1–1 draw on 8 September 2014. After a 1–1 draw against Russia at the Friends Arena, Sweden then picked up their first win in their next match with a 2–0 result against Liechtenstein. Sweden then went unbeaten for another three matches before suffering two consecutive defeats, a 1–0 loss to Russia in Moscow and a crushing 4–1 home defeat to group leaders Austria. This caused Sweden to move down to third place in their group, just one point above fourth-placed Montenegro. Sweden then bounced back to win their final two group games against Liechtenstein and Moldova with the scoreline being 2–0 on both occasions. They finished their group in third position behind Austria and Russia and qualified for the playoffs. Sweden were drawn against big rivals Denmark and won 4–3 on aggregate, qualifying for the UEFA Euro 2016. They were, however, eliminated from the group stage, losing to Italy and Belgium, drawing with the Republic of Ireland and scoring no goals of their own their only goal was an own goal by Kieran Clark. Topic. 2018 World Cup On 25 July 2015, Sweden were drawn in Group A of 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification. The team scored six wins, a draw and three losses. As a result, they tied with the Netherlands in points, and claimed second place on goal difference. On 13 November 2017, Sweden qualified for the 2018 World Cup after a 0–0 draw away to Italy at the San Siro during the second leg of their qualification playoff match. As Sweden had won the first match 1–0, this resulted in a Swedish win on aggregate, making their return to the World Cup for the first time in 12 years. 
At the 2018 World Cup, Sweden started its campaign by a 1–0 win over South Korea in the first match on 18 June, through a penalty goal decided by the new VAR technology. In their second match on 23 June they continued with a loss against Germany, after Sweden attained 1–0 in the first half Germany got 1–1 early on in the second half and won with a goal in the last 15 seconds in the 95th minute. Despite this loss, Sweden advanced to the knockout stage top of the group with a 3–0 win over Mexico, while Germany were knocked out bottom of the group with a 2–0 loss to South Korea. On the 3rd of July 2018, Sweden played Switzerland in the round of 16, beating them 1–0 and advancing to the quarter-finals for the first time since 1994. In the quarter-finals, Sweden suffered a 2–0 defeat to England and was thus knocked out. Topic 2018-19 UEFA Nations League. Sweden were drawn with Turkey and Russia in the League B. Sweden started their campaign on the 10th of September with a 2-3 defeat against Turkey in Solna. A month later, Sweden earned a point in a 0-0 draw against Russia in Kaliningrad. With two matches remaining, Sweden had to win both to top the group and promoted to the 2020-21 UEFA Nations League A. Sweden later beat Turkey 0–1 in Konya and had a 2–0 victory over Russia in Solna, earning them promotion to League A and a guaranteed playoff spot for the UEFA Euro 2020, should they do not qualify directly via the regular qualifier. UEFA Euro 2020. The draw for the UEFA Euro 2020 qualifying was held on December 2, 2018. Sweden were seeded in Pot 2 and drawn in Group F together with Spain, Norway, Romania, Faroe Islands and Malta. <laughs> Supporters Swedish supporters showed up first during the 1912 Summer Olympics, where they chanted Heus Varij, frist humor, det r det som Susan Gore, roughly meaning, Come on, Sweden, being in good spirits is what does the trick. During the football games, the travelling supporters for Sweden's away games showed up for the first time in the 1974 FIFA World Cup in West Germany, and since then Sweden has always had supporters in large tournaments. In the 2006 FIFA World Cup in Germany, Sweden had one of the largest group of supporters during a tournament, especially during the group stage match against Paraguay with around 50,000 Swedish supporters in attendance, plus an additional 50,000 fans watching the game outside the stadium. The Swedish fans were also voted the best fans during the 2006 World Cup, due to their massive numbers, friendly attitude and love for the game. Rivalry Sweden's historical rival is Denmark. The countries have played against each other 107 times, of which Sweden have won 47, drawn 20 and lost 40. The first match between the teams was an 8–0 Denmark win in May 1913. Sweden lost their first five matches against Denmark before their first win in October 1916 by the score 4–0. The first competitive match between the countries was as 1–0 win for Sweden in the group stage of UEFA Euro 1992. Both teams advanced from the group stage and Denmark went on to win the tournament. In UEFA Euro 2004 the teams drew 2–2 in the last group stage match, ensuring that both teams advanced at the expense of Italy. In the qualification for UEFA Euro 2008, Sweden were awarded a 3–0 win away against Denmark after a Danish fan invaded the pitch and attacked the referee. The reverse fixture ended in a goalless draw and Sweden qualified for the final tournament. In the qualification for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, Sweden lost both matches against Denmark by 1–0 and failed to qualify for the World Cup. In the playoffs round of the qualification for UEFA Euro 2016, Sweden defeated Denmark by 4–3 on aggregate to qualify for the final tournament. The most recent match between the countries was a goalless draw in June 2018. <laughs> Kits and crest <laughs> 
Kit sponsorship Stadium Since 2012, the Swedish national stadium is Friends Arena, replacing Resunda Fotball Stadion which was demolished. According to FIFA, Resunda Stadion was a classic stadium, one of only two stadiums in the world, the other one being the Rose Bowl Stadium in Pasadena, California, USA, which hosted both the men's and women's World Cup Final 1958 FIFA World Cup Final and the 1995 FIFA Women's World Cup. Resunda Stadium was opened 18 September 1910, and had a capacity of only 2.000, mostly standing. It was Resunda Stadium and Valhalla Stadium in Gothenburg that were the first football fields with grass used for Swedish football. The stadium was expanded during 1937, to a capacity of 40,000 people. The stadium was used for the football tournament in the 1912 Summer Olympics held in Stockholm, and hosted eight games during the FIFA World Cup 1958. In the UEFA European Championship in 1992, the stadium hosted four games and in the 1995 FIFA Women's World Cup it hosted only the final game. But Resunda Stadium is still the only stadium in Scandinavia that has hosted four big tournaments. Ulevi in Gothenburg is used for some games which Sweden plays, such as the centennial game of the Swedish Football Association, against England in 2004. Even other stadiums, such as Stadion in Malmö, are used for the national team. Competitive record FIFA World Cup Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. UEFA European Championship Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: <laughs> UEFA Nations League. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Olympic Games. Football at the Summer Olympics was first played officially in 1908. The Olympiads between 1896 and 1980 were only open for amateur players. The 1984 and 1988 tournaments were open to players with no appearances in the FIFA World Cup. After the 1988 Olympics, the football event was changed into a tournament for U23 teams with a maximum of three older players. See Sweden national under-23 football team for competition record from 1992 until present day. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Nordic Football Championship Asterisk Gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. <laughs> Minor tournaments Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Asterisk Asterisk Gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic Titles Topic Major titles FIFA World Cup Runner Up, one, nineteen fifty eight 3rd place, 2, 1950, 1994 
Fourth place, one, nineteen thirty eight UEFA European Championship Semi final, one, nineteen ninety two Olympic football tournament Gold medal, one, nineteen forty eight Bronze medal, two, nineteen twenty four, nineteen fifty two Topic Minor titles Nordic Football Championship Winners 9 1933 to 36 1937 to 47 1948 to 51 1952 to 55 1956 to 59 1960 to 63 1964 to 67 1968 to 71 1972 to 77 Topic All time record The following table shows Sweden's all-time international record. The abandoned match against Denmark on 2 June 2007 here counts as a draw. Statistics updated as of 20 November 2018. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided on penalty shootout. <laughs> matches not counted as international matches by FIFA This is a list of matches that the Swedish FA counts as official international matches, but not FIFA. All these matches are included in the table above. Sweden 1–6 England Amateurs Gothenburg, Sweden, 8 September 1908 England Amateurs 7–0 Sweden Kingston upon Hull, England, 6 November 1909 Sweden 1 to 5 England Amateurs Solna Sweden the 10th of June 1914 Sweden 4 to 1 Norway Tampere Finland the 21st of July 1952 Sweden 3 to 1 Austria Helsinki Finland the 23rd of July 1952 Hungary 6 to 0 Sweden Helsinki Finland the 28th of July 1952 Sweden 2 to 0 Germany Helsinki Finland the 1st of August 1952 Hungary 4 to 0 Sweden Budapest Hungary the 4th of May 1963 Sweden 2 to 2 Hungary Gothenburg Sweden the 27th of October 1963 Sweden 4 to 2 Norway Lodi Finland the 28th of February 1981 Sweden 4 to 0 United States Jönköping Sweden the 23rd of February 1984 Romania 0 to 2 Sweden Bangkok Thailand the 9th of February 1997 Sweden 1 to 0 Denmark La Manga Spain the 31st of January 2000 South Africa development 1 to 1 Sweden Nelspruit South Africa the 22nd of January 2011 Cyprus 0 to 2 Sweden Nicosia Cyprus the 8th of February 2011 Qatar U23 0 to 5 Sweden Doha Qatar the 23rd of January 2012 Sweden 1 to 1 4 to 1 P North Korea Chiang Mai Thailand the 23rd of January 2013 Sweden 3 to 0 Finland Chiang Mai Thailand the 26th of January 2013 Sweden 0 to 1 Finland Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 19th of January 2015 Sweden 1 to 1 Estonia Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 6th of January 2016 Finland 0 to 3 Sweden Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 10th of January 2016 Sweden 1 to 2 Ivory Coast Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 8th of January 2017 Sweden 6 to 0 Slovakia Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 12th of January 2017 Sweden 1 to 1 Estonia Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 7th of January 2018 Sweden 1 to 0 Denmark Abu Dhabi United Arab Emirates the 11th of January 2018 Topic Results and fixtures Topic 2018 
Topic Players Topic Current Squad The following 26 players have been called up for the friendly matches against Finland on the 8th of January 2019 and against Iceland on the 11th of January 2019. Caps and goals updated as of the 20th of November 2018 after the match against Russia. Topic: Recent call-ups. The following 52 players have also been called up to the Sweden squad within the last 12 months. Topic: Previous squads. Topic: Coaching staff. As of the 7th of July 2018. Topic: Players with most caps and goals. Updated as of the 20th of November 2018. Topic: Top 10 most capped players. Players in bold text are still active in the national team. Topic: Top 10 goal scorers. Topic: Records. All records updated as of the 12th of January 2017. Topic: Age-related records. Age-related records of the Swedish national football team. Oldest player: 38 years, 1 month, and 29 days. Thomas Ravelli, 1-0 against Latvia on the 11th of October 1997. Oldest outfield player: 38 years and 20 days. Henrik Larsson, 0-1 against Denmark on the 10th of October 2009. Youngest debutant: 17 years, 2 months, and 11 days. Gunnar Plygel, 5-2 against Finland on the 22nd of October 1911. Oldest debutant: 34 years, 9 months, and 1 day. Stendi Apiltoft, 3-0 against Finland on the 28th of August 1955. Longest national career. 18 years, 1 month and 27 days. Gunnar Gren from the 29th of August 1940 until the 26th of October 1958. Oldest goal scorer. 37 years, 11 months and 26 days. Gunnar Gren, 2 goals in a 4-4 draw against Denmark on the 26th of October 1958. Youngest goal scorer. 17 years, 3 months and 22 days. Alexander Isak, 1 goal in a 6-0 win against Slovakia on the 12th of January 2017. Topic: Managers. Chairman of the selection committee. Head coaches. Topic: Notable captains. This is a list of captains who either have played 30 or more matches as team captain or have played a match as team captain in a major tournament FIFA World Cup, UEFA Euro and Olympic Games. Note that only players who started the match as captain are included in the statistics. The order for this list is by most appearances as captain, then chronological order of first captaincy. Updated as of the 7th of July 2018. Topic. See also Football in Sweden Sweden women's national football team Sweden national under-23 football team Sweden national under-21 football team Sweden national under-20 football team Sweden national under-19 football team Sweden national under-18 football team defunct. 
Sweden national under-17 football team Sweden national under-16 football team defunct Sweden national football B team defunct Sapmi football team Gotland official football team Denmark Sweden football rivalry <laughs>